All right, so I bought this carburetor for uh, it does propane and uh, uh, this propane natural gas and also gasoline and I want to switch out the carburetor on here this was uh, $36 on Amazon I'll put a link in the description for you on that let's get it changed out One nut on the back side here. Now I've got to say that this carburetor looks to be exactly the same at the top. I mean, like the even the little fittings all appear to be exactly the same. It looks like over here on the side, it looks like if you just drilled through here. Where am I? Looks like if you just drilled through here and put a port for the propane, you could just take this off. You could just take this off and port it in there. Well, you got this piece down here too, so it's a little bit of differences there, but it looks like it's almost identical carburetor. Okay, so I need to pay attention to how this is hooked up right here because I'm gonna have to hook that back up. I'm gonna have to get this gasket off the front of here because I need I need it for the other one. It doesn't come with any gaskets. I'll have to work on that as soon as I get it off. Okay, so this, yeah, this just slides right off. Let me go ahead and take these connections loose. Okay, so this rod right here, you just rotate this body all the way around like that, and then this rod just lifts straight out like that. All right, so I got to take this fuel line loose. Might get a little gas. I do have the valve shut off right here. Okay. Now I've got to take get this wire loose. So we're gonna go around here to the side. And it's this one right here. So I'm just gonna unplug it like that. Oh, so if you just pop it out, then it'll come off like that. So you kind of squeeze it together. It should come out. There we go. Okay. And that's got this carburetor off. Now we'll slide the other carburetor on. Now you have to, when you get this thing, you have to put this piece on. All you do is slide it on there and tighten that screw down. Now that gasket's still in place, otherwise I'd have to replace it. Pull this little plastic piece off here. That's for your gas line. Plug that in. Place that clamp. Well, okay, I better get this in place first. Okay, so so you just reverse this piece all the way back. Take this wire. Drop it in like that, and then this spring 
just attaches right there through that hole and that's that now I need this gasket so I'm just gonna take a find where it's loose and I'm gonna work this razor blade under there just carefully there and that pulls it free and then that goes in place like that now let's get this safety shut off wired and put back in place we'll take this you know these things almost had to be made at the same place because even these connectors are the same color Get this one around on the back side. Okay, we don't want these to rattle loose, so we're going to torque them down pretty good. Be sure you get your gasket back onto this piece. Okay, so this, I should have put this back in for it, put that cover on, would have probably made it a little easier. But hopefully I can just There we go. Oh yeah. All right, just force that back down in there. All right, so now we just have to get some propane hooked up right here. And we're ready to test it. Okay, so I've got this hooked up to just a regular propane tank and a regulator. Now, that's, this is an acetylene regulator, but uh, you can use one like you would use for a barbecue grill. And I'll put one in the description um, that you could get off of Amazon that would suit this purpose. You would just probably have to cut the end off of it. So, that, to cut this end over here off so that you could attach it into a, your uh, carburetor like that. Okay, so let's get this thing fired up and see if it'll run. Alright, so let's fire this thing up and see if it'll... Yeah, when I push the button I can hear propane. One second, come over here, turn it to on, and pull it. Okay, so the reason I couldn't get it started was I had the pressure gauge. I told you I had an acetylene regulator over here, and I had it set on almost five. And you can see right there I was flooding it. So I got it set on like one pound. Because a, uh, I believe a propane regulator is in like six ounces or something like that. It's hardly anything. So I just had it set too rich. So now that I've got it set right, let's pull it one more time and see what we get. Should fire right up.
Okay, well I'm very happy with that conversion. Um, I've got to get me a, a better regulator to run this off of. That's all I had at the moment. But um, this is 1875 watts. It was running it no problem. Didn't even seem to bog it down at all. Um, I don't know what this one is. Let's see, 13 amps. This runs at 13 amps, so nowhere near the capacity of this uh, generator, but at least it showed that the propane could keep up with some type of a load off of here. All right, well, I hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.